Sung. We know 100% about Sung. He neither likes nor dislikes us. He's age 49, he's Taiwanese, and he's the president of Taiwan. A career politician, Ronald Sung's pro-independence politics have made many powerful people very nervous. Many other presidents have talked about declaring Taiwan as an independent nation from China in the past, but none have gone as far as declaring it. <clears throat> as the act would likely provoke an invasion from China. Sung, however, seems set in his plans to do so, and the fact that his support still holds strong has caused international attention as diplomats and other politicians wonder if Sung will win, and if he'll go so far to follow through with his promises. Sung has natural charisma and is able to captivate an audience just by improvising. But reporters are quick to point out that he tends to be calculating with everything he does. Even when telling lies, he is able to project the force of truth, either through his tone or by channeling his patriotism. He does like the prestige and status of his current role, but he is ultimately pursuing independence for his country, whatever the consequences. Unsustained, um, unsubstantiated reports link him to the formation of Taiwanese independence movement called the True Heirs, and suggests that he has one or more highly placed double agents in the PRC's government. Sung believes that despite any retaliation or political fallout, he will go down in history as a great patriot and savior of his people's identity. Secret fact. Sung not only is aware of Omendang's present or uh, presence in Taiwan, but the two of them are allies. Sung has served as Dang's surrogate father since Dang was an infant. His placement with the Chinese secret police is part of a long-term stratagem to place a Taiwanese pro-independence agent within the People's Republic's secret intelligence services. Scarlet. We know 100% about her. We have a uh, friendship with her. Ten. Uh, she's age 26, she's American, and she's a freelance photojournalist. Also, as we learned towards the end of this game, she's a sniper! Widely regarded as one of the best photojournalists in the world, she can take pictures with bullets. Ahem. <clears throat> Scarlet Lake has won multiple awards for her work, especially covering notoriously dangerous areas and subjects and has been wooed by many magazines and press agencies, eager to win exclusive rights to her services. Intelligent, charming, and well-traveled, Scarlet has a reputation for professionalism that ensures she is well-spoken of by many in her field. Many people brag that they know her well, although with the frequency she travels, it is doubtful that they do. On the job, Scarlet changes moods on the fly to gain access to the shots she needs, alternatively becoming vibrant, cheerful, and charming, then cold, aloof, and aristocratic as need be. One thing is for certain, she's daring, or crazy, enough to enter regions that scare other pros, which is responsible for many of the awards she has received over the years. Scarlet is focused on the story and the facts, and getting the truth to the public, damn the political consequences, which makes her a perfect source for any news uncovered on corrupt American corporations or their government affiliates. While Scarlet is technically an American citizen, she has traveled so extensively, it would be difficult to call her or call any one nation home. She became a world traveler at a young age. She first landed in Italy when she was 10, 
living in a villa in the country outside of Milan. According to reports, her mother, Rosemary, uh, was much the same way, frequently gone for long periods of time on excursions across the globe. Scarlet has had few close friends. She was homeschooled from 10 onwards, but was reportedly extremely close to her mother. Scarlet and her mother were forced to become world travelers due to troubles in the States. Scarlet's mother's identity in the CIA was leaked for political reasons, causing her to flee the States and take up residence abroad. Her mother died of cancer when Scarlet was 20, and Scarlet left their home and began her career in photojournalism, starting with a violent protest in France, then moving on to Meccano, and then elsewhere across the globe never staying long in any one place. Secret fact, Scarlet is a freelance assassin employed by Halbeck. She has leveraged her photojournalist career into that of a sniper, and she is the one who shot Ronald Sung. The reason she became involved in events in Taipei is unclear, but it must have allowed her to get closer to Sung for some reason. Surkov, we know 100% about him, he's neutral to us. Uh, he's age 54, Russian, international businessman. Sergei Surkov is a rising businessman in Moscow and has been courting foreign companies into opening branches in Moscow to further trade in opportunities. A frequent guest at America at the American Embassy in Moscow, he uses his extensive business contacts in Russia as a form of currency to introduce prospective clients to new markets. Surkov has had a long career, including work with the KGB, rumored ties with the Russian Mafia, and now perhaps the most dangerous role of all, an entrepreneur. He has embraced the new capitalist Russia with a quiet intensity, using his long years in government and possibly underworld circles to network beyond Russia's borders and seize opportunities as they appear. Sergei, or, uh, Surkov's mafia ties are more than sus bleh, speculation. His former role in criminal underworld was prominent enough that he made a docu or a denouncement of his mafia ties many years ago, reforming himself with ah, I am just losing it here. Reforming himself and some of his chosen associates into legitimate businessmen with corporate handshakes and PR opportunities. This makeover to his image has whitewashed the criminal element off him nearly completely, even to other criminals. Secret fact. Surkov has a legitimate business ties to Halbeck, once again, using his many crime and military sources, he has been providing arms and vehicles in a deal that he kept secret to most except for Branko. Branko felt betrayed for not being cut into this lucrative deal, and that is what caused the rift between the two bosses. Surkov has admitted to sending someone to kill his former protege, in the hopes of taking Branko out of the picture. Sis, we know 100% about her. Uh, she likes us by three. Her age is unknown, appears to be in her late teens to early 20s. Yeah, she did look pretty young. Nationality is unknown. Occupation is G22 agent. Most of the existing information on codename Sis comes from Interpol records, ones that were isolated when a computer virus attacked their servers in 2006 and erased almost three years of evidence compiled on G22. Sis relies on two revolvers as her favorite weapons, or favored weapons, I should say. 
While she is a marksman with both, she frequently needs to reload in order to keep using the weapons. Assuming her first few shots do not take out a target, it is recommended that agents take advantage of the pistol's reload to subdue her. Footage of Sis's fighting style has been captured by Interpol after an unsuccessful attempt to apprehend her in a train station in the Ukraine. Believing the G-22 agent to be unarmed, Interpol attempted to subdue her, but discovered they were unable to get close enough to Sis to land a strike. Her small size and agility allowed her an incredible advantage in taking cover. Using the station pillars, trains, and even passengers at the station to avoid apprehension and escape easily. Sis's locket is more than just a childhood memento. It's her only way of expressing her current place in the world and her fear of what it holds in store for her. Albatross and G22. The fact she relinquished the locket shows considerable trust. Secret fact. Sis formerly carried a locket with the depiction of St. George upon it. The significance of the locket is something of a mystery as to whether it's a memento or whether it is some kind of special significance to Sis.